Hi boys and girls, today we're gonna to come together to do a shared writing of why our moms are special to us. And so before we do that, we're gonna revisit Mary a little bit together and see some of the things that she might have done as a mother. Um, she was the mother of Jesus. And uh, you know, to mother boys and girls means to help. Um, a mother is not just a person, it actually could be a verb. To mother means just to be a helper and an aid to someone. And you know that your mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, they're all so very special because they help shape and mold you into the person that you are today. So this is a little portrait that Jenna made of me. And you could see she really tried hard to illustrate what I looked like. I have actually hazel eyes, which are brown and green mix. My blonde hair. And um, she made me with some eyelashes and a smile and a little outfit. So you're going to get a scanned piece of paper like this as well. And you can get to illustrate what your mom looks like, as well as finish this story starter sentence, which is, my mom is special because. Now remember, if your mom is watching this, tell her to stop the video so that she doesn't need to be around when you're helping me, okay? You can go find another family member, a brother or sister, or even a special friend to help you watch this video. And by watching this video, you're going to get to hear lots of different ideas of things that moms can do, and then you'll be able to take off on your writing and draw her that beautiful picture. And you could save that to give her for Mother's Day, which is this Sunday, okay? So we're gonna revisit, guys, this little picture of Mary. And like we talked about, Mary is the mother of Jesus, and she's also our mother in heaven. Mary was part of the Holy Family, which consisted of herself, St. Joseph, and Jesus. And they lived in the town of city, rather, of Nazareth. And Mary did many things that your mom might do. She made bread. Right? She needed it and got it prepped up so that they could eat meals. Um, they sewed, right? She made clothes. So your mom might sew things if they, you know, need a little hem in them or if they have a little tear, she might sew. Uh, she might cook. And in the, um, this these days, they had to fetch water from wells, but your mom might make special trips to the grocery store to buy your favorite meal, or maybe she'll make you your favorite meal. She might clean um, and help organize your toys with you. I know she helps you do homework and study that for sure through all this. Your moms have been wonderful helping you. So in all these ways, boys and girls, your mom is special because they help you day in and day out, and they really don't expect anything in return. Just maybe a thank you every now and then, right? And just to hear them, you know, say to you, good job, you did a great job. They're giving you not only help, but they're also giving you encouragement. So we want to honor them just like we do Mary during this month. We also want to honor our mothers. So you recall that we read this story, one of my favorites, I Love You Forever by Robert Munch. And as we read this story, we got to see the mother's love and care for her son as he grew up into a man. And really, boys and girls, this was a wonderful story. So if you get a chance to reread that, that might help you as well with your shared writing. Okay. And I'm going to brainstorm with you now. And I did this by drawing a little heart because we love our moms. And I have the word mom, M-O-M, in the middle. So around here, we're gonna try to think of verbs or actions, things that your moms do for you that make you feel loved. And maybe this could be why they're special to you, okay? So I know that one thing the woman in the story did, I love you forever. Remember when she had her little baby in her arms? What's something that she did? to love and care for her son. I'm kind of trying to show you she would rock him to sleep, right? So when you were a baby, I'm sure your moms could show you videos or pictures of when you were little and they helped do that for you. They rocked you to sleep or maybe you cuddled with them, right? They show you love by cuddling. So I can write that as a verb. My mom cuddles with me cuddles with me now be careful we're going to spell verbs and these are not full sentences these are what we call phrases or just simple ideas that's brainstorming to get you kind of thinking why is my mom special there's so many things and so many reasons why she is but you want to try to think of something that makes her feel special to you so it's more personal but these are some ideas that really i think that most moms do and like to do to to help you, all right? And not only do they help you, but they also give you that encouragement as well. So I love, as a kid, when my mom would cuddle with me, c -u -d 
Oh, and I'm gonna put down that cap to help you stretch it out again. Uh, oh, so let's try to spell it. Every mom likes to do this. Cuddle. K -k -k uh, uh. Do you hear the short sound? Uh, umbrella. You, very good. Cud, d, d, cuddle. Good, you might hear the L. I'm gonna go, as, as we write these words, I will write them in red, the correct spelling. But just like I said, you're learning to become independent writers. So you just wanna keep writing all the letters and sounds that you hear. Um, don't worry if you get stuck, just keep going, going right on to write that word. And so that will help you through the writing process, okay? So moms like to cuddle, right? They like to cuddle with you. What else do moms do for you? What can they do? What's something that you think Mary would have done for Jesus? If he got hungry, what would she do to help him? Would she say, oh, Jesus, go out in the garden and just pick a tomato? Mm, probably not. Mary was a very sweet mother to Jesus, and she probably made him a meal. She probably helped cook, right, and make the special meal. So I know a lot of your moms probably make you sandwiches, or maybe they make you a special soup or a dessert, so they might bake or cook. So... I'll write that word first. I'll write cook, k, uh, k. And remember, these are verbs. These are actions that your mom, moms can do. Cuddle is a verb, and so is cook. So help me spell k, k. Maybe you hear that. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. That's actually k, k. Now maybe you think it's this letter. Now at the end, like I said, I will go. If you heard all those sounds, I'll go at the end and rewrite the word the way that the, the real spelling is. But we're just going to, as we independently write, write all those letters that we hear to match those sounds. Okay, what's another thing that your mom can do? Remember we said they can bake, right? They can bake and cook. I just made, um, they were really good. They are Betty Crocker, so it was just in a box. But I made um, brownies and uh, the cookies, which were like in one. So we made the brownie batter first, and then Jenna and I got to put the... Um, dough, the cookie dough. Oh my gosh, it was delicious. It took a couple uh, minutes to bake and cool off, but we had it as a snack last night. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. I like to bake, but I usually don't bake from scratch. But your moms might. Maybe they have a special mixer. Maybe they, they're great at making cakes. Um, and that's wonderful. So we're going to write that verb. B -a -k. B -a -k. All right. So let's write that first letter. B, B. That's the letter B. Okay, what letter do, does this sound make? Uh, uh, what letter does this sound make? Ah, ah. It's letter A. Bake. K. Okay, now I'll give you a hint here because this is going to be a little trick when we get together for our phonics lesson. You know that when I see A like this, it makes the short A sound. Ah, do you know how this letter A would make its long vowel sound? There's a rule to it, and it's called sneaky E. Sneaky E, boys and girls, we want to put at the end of a word because it's silent, but you know what it changes? It changes this letter here, this first vowel, to make its long vowel sound. So I wouldn't say back. It's not back. This would read b a k because of sneaky E. Beak. All right, good job. Let's think of another verb. So we said they like to cuddle cook, bake. Hmm, what else might they like to do with you? What if you're at the beach? What's something you like to do together? You might like to play, but give me something specific. What, what do you like to do? Maybe you like to build sand castles, or maybe your mom likes to swim with you. That's something I like to do in the summer with my kids, whether we're at the beach or the pool. We love to splash around and have fun. I actually like to boogie board. I've been known to take a few good waves in myself, um, and I love to swim and play with my kids. So let's try to write that verb, that action. Sw, sw, that's a blend. Im, sw, im. All right, here we go. Sw, blend. Here are the letters. You might hear... The S sound, wuh, wuh, remember that sound? W, I, I, short I, good. Mmm, mmm, M, you guys, and I have to tell you, I don't need to correct that word. You guys spelled it correct with me. Swim, awesome job. Kiss your brain. Awesome job, guys. All right, so let's think of maybe one or two more ways 
that your mom is special, okay? And you're gonna, like I said, elaborate. These are just verbs. These are just words or phrases that we're doing. This is called brainstorming to kind of get your brain thinking. Why is your mom special to you, all right? Think of another thing they do. Hmm, we said they like to cuddle, cook, bake, swim. What else do they like to do with you? I know, I bet every mom's done this. Read stories to you, read bedtime books, right? They might like to do that with you, especially now that you have some extra time together. And I bet you with um, doing some of the activities that we've done, I bet you they've even read you some of those stories um, that we're doing in class. So I know that you guys are not just great readers because of me, you're great readers because of your awesome mom, right? And dad, but moms, I know for sure, they love to do that. So I'm gonna write that as a verb. They like to read books, read books, and that's two words. So I'm gonna sound out read, er eed, er eed, all right? So we're gonna spell read, er eed, all right? And remember, I know you know that's the sight word, read, but that's okay, I'll go back and fix it for you. Read books, this is a phrase, books, watch me again, B o k s let's spell books together ready b b o k s awesome and one more that i know your families do as catholics who i know are taking this time to pray to pray to mary right during the month of may i bet you're also saying special prayers for your loved ones so i know that mommy's pray with you as well. And that's also an action. Let's try to spell that. Per a Watch me again. It's a blend. Per a Let's try it. P -p -er a Okay, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is if you want to pause this video, I'm just going to take a minute to rewrite the correct spelling underneath in red so that you can see the real words. And remember, this was called brainstorming. You just helped Mrs. Cloud brainstorm different ways that your moms are special by brainstorming some verbs, some things that your moms can do. And all these guys will help you develop why is your mom special, all right? So maybe you can think what you're going to write as I'm correcting these words. And you guys did an amazing job writing lots of these letters and sounds. You got a lot right. So. Keep thinking, or maybe you could even think of what maybe what's your mom's favorite color, what's some, uh, you know, different ways that you want to sketch her out, maybe in pencil first, and then you can use your markers or crayons. Wow, you guys spelled two words completely right. You're going to be so excited. Are you ready? So here is some of the corrections that we needed. We spelled swim and bake, right? Remember that sneaky E, it changes that vowel sound. Sneaky E makes this say the long sound of A. Bake and swim, which are verbs. This is cook with two O's, cuddle, C-U-D-D-L-E. Pray just had a Y at the end. Read is R-E-A-D. I snuck that A in. And books is with two O's, that uh, uh sound. See how uh, uh, and buh, uh, they rhyme, book and cook. So they need two O's in the middle, B-O-O-K-S. So again, these were our ideas. We said that our moms pray with us. They like to cuddle with us. They like to cook, bake. They like to swim maybe in the pool or the ocean. And they also like to read books with us. So maybe you can think of a way either from using these ideas or an idea of your own. And then you can go back and get your special paper. It doesn't have to be this kind of paper. It can be a blank piece of paper and you can just make some lines at the bottom. And remember to write this story starter if you're doing this on your separate piece of paper. My mom is special because, and then you want to try to finish that sentence, use spacing and punctuation at the end. Don't forget your name. Thanks, guys. Happy Mother's Day.